Okay, and um, thank you, uh, President Park. Um, I, I just, uh, a while ago, I checked the exact time uh, President Xi Jinping used uh, for reading the report, uh, which is uh, 204 minutes, which is equivalent to three or 24 minutes. So uh, it took such a long time for him to uh, reading the, uh, the report. So we are asked to summarize the main point in 10 minutes. That's a great challenge for us. Uh, good but for so us. It's good for us, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I decide maybe I uh, prefer to concentrate from one uh, angle. That's the economic interpretation. Uh, what is the uh, uh, outcome for uh, party, uh, National Congress of Chinese Communist Party? One thing I wanted to mention uh, at the beginning, the, the, the purpose for National Congress of Communist Party is to not solve the problem now. They want to design the blueprint in next five years and beyond. That's very important. Uh, they, the purpose for National Congress not solve the problem now. They want to look in the future. So I decided to use uh, the format uh, in my presentation uh, is uh, I want to put the number uh, plus keyword to summarize the, the main point uh, from economic perspective. First is two unchanging. Uh, that unchanging is a basic judgment on current position of Chinese uh, economy. Uh, first unchanging is basic national condition unchanging. That means China still and will be long time remain at the initial stage of socialism. That's basic unchanging. Second unchanging is China's international status as the world's largest developing country, which is unchanging. That's very important to unchange because its implication is economic development is and will be the first priority for Chinese Communist Party. That, that's the foundation for all of uh, objective or plan uh, in the future, uh, beyond five years, even maybe 10 or uh, next uh, three decades. Then one change. Uh, the terminology uh, describes the main contradiction in China facing. That's something changing. I guess uh, Jia Qingguo also mentioned. Here I want to give some explanation. What's mean contradiction? It's kind of a, a meaning of ideology. It's major challenge. You can uh, interpret that way. It's major challenge China is facing. Previously, the description of the major contradiction is between the ever-growing material and the cultural needs of people and the low level or backward level of production. The previous here, I mean after the end of cultural revolution until now, you can describe is the Deng Xiaoping area. Even before that, under the Mao Zedong area, that's different, that's class struggle is the major contradiction. After the end of the Cultural Revolution, under the Deng Xiaoping, that's the description uh, of the main uh, challenge. Then, now, Party Congress changing that, become the between people's ever-growing needs for a better life and unbalanced and equivalent development. Here, the implication is, first of all, it's recognized we have already achieved economic uh, uh, progress because of previously just say low or backward level of production. Now is say we have already reached cer certain level, but is unbalanced. Uh, that's uh, first. Second is quality will pay more attention than quantity. Uh, that's very important. Why? Because originally only say people uh, need the material and the cultural need. Here, 
Now is a better life, which contain more uh, 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 meaning that, for example, environment, uh, green line, such kind of things, including that. Then, one plus two stages, uh, that is the path for future objective in next uh, three decades. The first uh, stage is from now to 2020, three, four years. Uh, the target is to finish the, the building of a moderate, uh, prosperous society in all aspects. In Chinese, we say, 全面建成小康,小康社会. In this uh, 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 period, we have the, the target, uh, the, the, the assignment for government is uh, guarding against and uh, reduction financial uh, risk. Then at the end of uh, 2020, have to eliminate the poverty. Then uh, we have to do great effort to uh, solve the pollution, uh, pollution uh, production. That's for next maybe four years. Then very important, sometimes if you read the Chinese newspaper, they always say we have a two step uh, to have a, a goal. Sometimes I even f I find it confused. I read the reporter again, again, I decide to say one plus two. If you only say two steps, people say, what's happened from now to 2020? So I say, oh, one plus two. The more important or party wanted to emphasize is two steps. The first step is from 2020 to 2035. That's a big set, it's 15 years. Uh, the target is basically realizing the socialist modernization. Then next step, uh, stage, from 2035 to 2050, it's uh, building China into a greater modern socialist country. That is a prosperous, strong, democratic, culture advance, uh, harmonious, and uh, beautiful. Uh, that's the whole uh, goal. Very important implication is that we have to take a note. No more GDP growth target, which is different from previously. Previously, always pe people say we have to double uh, GDP uh, growth rate or in 10 years or whatever. Now no mention uh, the GDP uh, uh, target. Then also, just like the previous I mentioned, quality over quantity. That's a very important uh, uh, implications. <coughs> then also very important, two continuations I summarized. That's related to main contact of future development uh, strategy. Uh, what suppose uh, CPC will do in next uh, maybe two or three decades. Uh, one first continuation, uh, Chinese government decide that still continue to carry open door policy. Also very important, uh, bad and the load initiative will become the focus on the open door policy. That's the report uh, specifically indicated that. Uh, I don't want to go detail on the initiative. People have already talked a lot, but I just mentioned that. Second is now open door policy is a two way opening up. Previously, China paid more attention to attract foreign uh, direct investment. Now China also make overseas uh, direct investment. That's two, two way uh, opening up. Then detail, China started to using the negative list uh, in order to track more foreign direct investment. Here, what mean negative uh, list? That mean any item on the least list to be uh, negative. That mean other than that item, everything you can make investments without approval in advance. That's international. Uh, stand. Uh, China uh, experiment negative list in Chinese free trade zone now want to promote nationwide. Uh, that means the, the more open uh, to uh, foreign direct uh, investment. Also in the report, uh, uh, Xi Jinping mentioned uh, 
probably you know four years um, Chinese government start element uh, experiment in Shanghai uh, called free trade zone. Now free trade zone have already expanded to uh, 11 um, <coughs> city or area. But now Xi Jinping also try uh, ask explore another uh, they call free trade port. That mean maybe copy some model like uh, Singapore or other uh, free trade port. That mean will be more open to uh, streamline, uh, give more sub uh, facility of a foreign trade. Uh, that's something I summarized the open door policy. Then the second continuation is uh, CPC want to continue to carry domestic economic reforms. Here is a, a list of some very important items in economic reform. First of all, uh, we will continue to st uh, carry structural supply side reform, uh, pay more attention on real econ uh, economy. Uh, 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 we'll move Chinese uh, industry toward the middle and high end of global value chain. But now currently, the production in China usually at the low end. Now Chinese government want to push to the middle and the high end of a, a global value chain. Also, a more focus on innovation and a new technology. But still, we are lag behind uh, advanced country. But now we are a uh, little bit catch up uh, some new technology. We, we also have a, uh, a, a great company like Alibaba, Tenen. Uh, they try to catch up. Uh, uh, some uh, high-tech uh, uh, knowledge company in U.S. Uh, second item is uh, they want to improve market economic system. Uh, that means uh, we'll continue to do SOE reform. Uh, we'll to, uh, the first time they mentioned, they call two pillar macro framework, macro economic adjustment framework. The first pillar is the monetary policy. Second pillar is the MPA, uh, Macro Prudential Administration. That's new ter terminology. They never use, that's the first time usually say Chinese say, we want two pillar macro uh, uh, economic adjustment. Then we pay more attention to countryside development. Mainly, you know, probably, uh, I guess you familiar the, the land system in China, uh, the, the, the land uh, in the city uh, belong to the government. The land in countryside belong to what we call collective. These systems still will keep uh, uh, intact. But at the same time, some part of countryside land, what we call constructing land, operating constructing land, can be used uh, to uh, uh, to build up the house for renting. The meaning is that way the farmer can get more benefit from these kind of things. Originally, government take away farmland at a very cheap price. Then sold to the developer. The difference between these type can be used for infrastructure in city. In some way, it's okay, it's good. Why is people uh, amazing? Why is so fast China can do infrastructure in city? That's the, I guess, a major reason. But another side, the farmer cannot get the major benefit from this kind of system. So China now wants to pay more attention to benefit of a farmer. As a first step, some land can be used to build up house for renting. That's one uh, arrow for two purposes. One is to can be reduce the price, uh, housing price in the city. Now is very high, housing price in China, uh, in the large city very high. So China uh, government try provide some renting house in order, one hand give uh, more benefit to farmers, another hand to uh, decline or reduce the high price, let more young, younger generation can afford to live in the city. 
that's uh, uh, the third. Another one is uh, we put more attention to cooperation, uh, so we call regional development. Uh, uh, development. Uh, first of all, uh, coast area to inland area. You know, usually the, the coast area very uh, prosperous. Now we try to do more, pay more attention to development inland. Second is the city and the countryside. Uh, we have to no take notes to improve the infrastructure in countryside. Also, that's the new term. Now, the first time in official a document. Uh, we wanted to develop a city cluster with the large city as a core, vice small media city. Previously, Chinese government always say we want to develop a small media city, but now they're changing. They're using city cluster uh, with the large city as a core. Uh, that's something we should take note. Of. So. Okay, I'll finish very quickly. If all the above goals are uh, accomplished, obviously there will uh, a conclusion can be reached. The conclusion is China uh, is moving towards the center of the world stage. The detail is uh, will continue to make a greater contribution to the global GDP growth. In past five years, uh, China contributed 30% uh, of share of total global uh, uh, growth. Also will become a, a, a more important source of direct investment over the world, uh, which will be beneficial to other countries. The last one is will play a more active role in global uh, economic uh, uh, governance. Uh, obviously, uh, these goals uh, is a, uh, it's not easy to, uh, to achieve. It's a big uh, challenge ahead. We have to overcome many things. But I'm confident, uh, so I, I guess we can uh, accomplish that. I can share one episode with you. And two days uh, I arrived here in the city. I took a taxi uh, to look around. The taxi driver asked me, where did you come from? I say, from China. China is good. You guys always walk, walk without sleep. Without sleep, how I can survive? But at least the Chinese people did working very hard. That's very important fact, supporting the previous success. That's something that's mentioned in document. So I hear mention that. So I stop here. Thank you. Um, Last year, uh, you uh, suggested uh, your presentation was much more uh, market, you know, oriented and uh, specific, you know, uh, figure out what happened in the Shanghai stock market. But uh, uh, today, uh, this year, you just represent uh, as uh, you work as a spokesman of your government. So more. Uh, more hypothetical and more symbolic and more conceptual one. But anyway, I enjoyed both of these two uh, diverse elements. But if I uh, give some, uh, some questions, you know, uh, as I mentioned at the outset, uh, Moody and uh, uh, SMP downgraded uh, uh, the government uh, credit rate. Uh, it's not uh, every year's uh, you know, uh, business. Because it is the first time during the last 22 years, if my memory is correct. But in, a, in, a, in accordance with your analysis, uh, that to govern, uh, GDP rate, uh, yes, uh, last year you mentioned that, no, even though it's a little high, uh, higher, but still manageable. Uh, but uh, during the last years, uh, SMP and uh, Moody's made uh, some very unexpected, uh, you know, uh, downgrading, uh, uh, down, uh, unexpectedly downgraded. So, what is your response to that question? And then, um, new uh, Xi Jinping you know, guideline. Uh, you uh, you don't need uh, you know GDP concept anymore. 
Yes, yeah, the, the concept of GDP is challenged even the Western economic you know, sphere, but uh, from different reason. But if you disregard the GDP concept, how we could uh, figure out the trend of your uh, percentage of uh, national debt and your government debt and your you know, uh, shadow financial institute debt. I think you know, at least you should provide the minimum uh, basic uh, uh, data uh, for, so that you know, the outside investor could easily uh, figure out what's going on in, uh, within uh, China. So, uh, so maybe in that sense, I think you know, GDP concept is still valid. So, so that is my uh, two questions. So you could make some answer right now, or you could, I will give you uh, another five minutes. You want me to answer now? Oh, it's up to you. I can answer now. Actually, uh, yesterday, I, uh, in another- uh, very, very briefly, yeah, please. Yes. Yeah, a little, you know, succinct. yesterday, you, you, you didn't count. I, I made oh, a, uh, I, I say something in the preliminary session uh, on the world economy. Uh, Regarding the downgrade of uh, SP or Moody, um, probably I would say um, they made a mistake. They okay. made a mistake. They made a mistake. Oh. If you are interested, I can send you something. Because one of my best friends yes. uh, do some research on methodology SP use. Actually, the model is incorrect. I can give you details. Mm -hmm. Also, IMF how they to forecast the SP. Personally, I asked the deputy director of the research department of IMF how they calculate the debt. They're just forecasting according to the date, just a straightforward line. No model they are using for IMF, at least. I, I can show you, if you want, I can okay. show you the email. So, Terry Chu's probably you don't uh, pay attention. One week ago, Chinese government to issue U.S. dollar debt, uh, sovereign debt, two billion U.S. dollar in Hong Kong. Very positive uh, response. The yield for these bond only a little bit higher than U.S. treasury, high 0 0.125. That means market disagree with the evaluation of SP. That's the evidence. So I'm not going to say that data is not important. Yes, of course, year in, year out, Chinese government, I guess, still will uh, disclose the, the growth rate. What I try to say, the Communist Party don't want to set the goal, GDP growth as a goal. That's different. Of course, they still will make announcements of okay, I will GDP. give you another chance because okay. you know there might be some counter argument you know from other yeah. <laughs> the colleagues. 